Hey there guys, it is Josh C with several and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3. Or Crash Bandicoot 4! Last time we did some stuff this time, we're most likely going to fight Cortex this episode. But we gotta do a couple things first. Crash, Coco, remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. Ooh! Crash is looking pretty good! So, I've been told this by pressing the square button. You'll, you'll do a little spin, and that is supposed to prevents you from taking damage, but I'm not sure about that one, because I've known this. I didn't mean to grab that. Oh, no. Because I, I knew about the square. I knew it makes you do a spin, but I swear it doesn't work. Maybe it does. It's just not really that effective. As, yeah, it does. It stops you, but uh, yeah, it's even now, still, the most effective strategy is to just turn the camera. It prevents damage for all of, like, three seconds. So yes, it is true, but it's not that effective. Come on, come on, come on. I'm already down to 32% health. Really? I just wish the enemies would stop spawning. I wish there was a finite amount of enemies. There is nothing that the enemies here in this level present anything for. They are not a challenge. They are not uh, health pickups. They are not ammo refills. There is nothing that these enemies do except impede progress. I guess you can really tell I don't like these levels. Oh my. Cool. 50% health. No more health boxes. It doesn't help that these are now moving targets. I just, I just want a speed up button. Is it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't really see how the the spin is effective at all. I'm sorry, I just don't. Where'd it go? There it is. If I could just do this in one go. Get the gem and the crystal and all that in one go, I would be happy. But I don't know how much it's going to happen. My chances are pretty slim at this point. I, I'm j I just want to get over here. <laughs> Please, stop. Come on, come on, please. No. Stop, thank you. Oh, it's over with. Until I have to do the relics. Alright, well, at least the good thing is that all I'll have to focus on next time is just... getting it done. In a very timely fashion. All right, now let's get back to the fun parts of this game. Bug Light. 
I may have spoken too soon when I said fun parts. I may have really spoken too soon. <laughs> but to be fair, that one was my fault. <laughs> Spun just a little bit too early. I'm still determined to get the, the 99 lives. I think you can actually spin the crocodiles too. But I think you gotta be good at the game to do that. And I don't really want to risk it. So there is that as well. You know, this is a whole lot easier than the second one. You, you see a lot more. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what happened? Pretty sure I should have died there. You really can. You can see a whole lot. Ooh! Blue gem! Oh! Alright. Okay. Oh, no, I might not be able to do this. Yeah, I can't do this one. <laughs> I've never seen that animation. That's funny. Oh, I've also been told that the, uh, the power... Whatever it is, the power, the power slam can destroy the spikes. I want to try that out. Hopefully we get another chance. Just skip that for now. They just give it to you. They just want you to have some fun right now. And that's it. Can't have too much fun. Just gotta have the right allocated amount of fun. That would be pretty cool though. Like if you were able to well, not if you were able to, but if they planned out a level in which you could essentially go through the entire level with an invincibility power. That'd be pretty cool. But they would have to plan it out that, you know, the boxes would come every so often. And I, they've done it before in other levels. So it's... Huh. There we go. Believe me, I have no clue how I did that. Oh no, I can't do this! That's that's why I said I can't do this. I needed to use the bazooka! I'm so dumb! Why didn't I just do that? Real question is... Does the bazooka get rid of the flies as well?
There, that should make my journey just a little bit easier. And that's all the boxes. Now, okay, now we did it. And hopefully I'll be up to 63 or 64 lives? 63. Let's let's bet on 63. Ah, ah. Okay. Still alive. You can't spin away the crocodiles. In the last ditch effort, we found out. Sometimes you have to be truly desperate to learn the truth. There we go. At least I got the clear gem. And now... It is time... To fight. Dr. Cortex, for the first time. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage. Incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious! But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you! I'd like to see you try. Bandicoot for the last time. Give the crystals to me. No. Simple as that. So now if I remember correctly, this boss is just really a lot of waiting. Just kind of got to give Cortex time to do stuff. Okay. Uh, and more importantly, don't do that. Yeah, can't you take that fight somewhere else, guys? Who? Oh, dang it. I missed my chance. Oh, he threw it right on me. Not going as smoothly as I was hoping it was going to. Get him, get him in there. There we go. All right, so that is one bar of health. Okay. I just, I'm being very quiet. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on exactly where those things are. <laughs> At a given time, no! It looked like they were going left. But then at the last moment, it looked like they were going right. Oh, 
let's be honest with the with the with us here, guys. The boss battles for Crash Bandicoot have never been in strong suit. Again, he threw it right on me. Okay. See, this is the thing I hate about bosses that you you have to wait for. I hate that in games. Like just any up and coming developers. It didn't look like they were going there. Any up and coming developers who, for some reason, are are watching me. Uh, one, thank you. And two, don't ever make a boss battle where you have to wait for the boss to do things. It just becomes frustrating. Can I? All right, just out of curiosity, I want to make sure you can spend so many things in this game and just want to make sure. Okay, finally. I, I made it to something resembling... No, no, no! Progress. Something resembling progress. Yeah. Finally. Come on. Come on, Crash. Do it. Okay. I don't remember the third phase. Honestly, my memory was literally just the beam struggle that they do. So... You got me on this one, guys. No. Oh, no. Come on, got him. Okay. Cortex is done with. And we got the speed shoes. Defeated again? This is not fair! Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph! <laughs> Okay, so that is Crash Bandicoot Warp. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. It was a lot faster than Crash Bandicoot 1 or 2, but I think still pretty solid game. And of course, this isn't over. What do I look like, a fool? None of this is over, including the credits, because you can't actually skip the credits. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. So, now that we're back... We have to collect some relics. And that is a very important thing because we need the relics to collect all of the gems. But, we're not gonna immediately jump into getting the relics. I think this whole first world... No, that one's not over with yet. But we're not going to collect the relics just yet. We need to focus right now on collecting the remaining gems that we have available. Uh, and I'm trying to find where any of the color gems... Hang them high. So this is going to be the next one that we have to do, I think. But is that... No, it's not. I don't think we can actually do this one. I can't remember with that yellow gem. What what gems are we missing? That's a good question. Is it just the yellow gem? No, we're missing the purple gem too. It's gotta be somewhere. Hang in time. That, high time, because that was the one I'm missing. Right. Is that? I don't remember. We'll figure it out. 
Uh, I think those are the only two that I'm missing. All right, I was clicking buttons and I accidentally left. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here, guys. Next time, we'll move on and we'll try and do some cleaning up, and then we'll start on the relics after that. So, I'm going to hit the next episode right now. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you there.